leaps onto the bed and i'm just like can i help you like Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica, or you can call me Jess, either one works. And today I'm gonna to be getting into a story time video. But before I get started, if y'all see any white stuff on my hands, like it's because I was super gluing, you know, like my nails on and stuff. So I spilled the glue on me. Of course, I feel like I do that like every time I glue my nails on. But yeah, I'm just letting y'all know that that's what this is. It's not ash. Your girl's not ashy. I put plenty of lotion on before I before I started this video. And uh, the second thing I wanna do is just give a shout out to my best friend, um, Candace. I love you so much. And if you're watching this, shout out to you. Like, I love you so much. And y'all, she's just been doing her thing. If anyone really, really knows me, they know that's my only best friend. Like I have one best friend, I claim one best friend. So yeah, that's Candace. So shout out to you, Candace. Hey girl, hey. And follow her, she's doing her thing. Um, she does like media and content creation. So yeah, I love you Candace so much. Thank you so much if you're watching this. and. And yeah, we're gonna get started in today's video. Y'all, so boom, we're gonna get in today's video. So this is a story time, and this is another college story time. I feel like most of my crazy story times have happened when I was in college, so that's what we're gonna continue on with today. This is about my freshman year in college, how this guy that, you know, I thought was cool in the beginning, you know, he turned out to be a weirdo, like a weirdo, he was a creep etc cetera, etc cetera. so all right let's give a background story so boom the year is 2013 this was the year i started college the guy i'm talking about he's also a freshman in college and we're gonna call him plankton now the reason we're gonna call him that is because uh, plankton was always like hard to get rid of like every time like mr krabs and spongebob whoever would try to like get rid of him and stuff like plankton would always come like popping back up like trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula the secret formula or whatever so yeah so we're just gonna call him plankton we actually ended up in the same class like, it was communications okay we had a communications class together and I thought he was cool like I'm not gonna lie to y'all like I didn't think he was like all that all that when I first you know like met him because you know I was still getting to know people like I didn't want to rush too too much into you know like uh dealing with like with a bunch of guys there whatever i mean of course like things change you know as you you go on but yeah in the beginning i just wanted to try to get to know people and just get adjusted to college because this was my first year of college yes there's a girl that he was always like messing with and play fighting around with and she was real cool um i actually have her like on instagram today like she's she's real cool like i have no issues with her to this day and i didn't have any issues with her back then either but i thought they were dating like i thought plankton and this girl were dating because they were always like talking to each other and play fighting and yada yada, yada. like all that stuff they were doing all the things it seemed like you know boyfriend and girlfriends do you know because i'm not about to play fight with a dude that's just my friend you know what i mean like that's kind of like a little bit too much but i mean you know things happen so I don't remember who told me what i'm pretty sure like i think both of them told me not at the same time obviously but i'm pretty sure like both of them told me that they weren't together he told me that they were just cool they were just friends and i think he told me he told me the same thing like nah like that's my friend we're cool and i was like okay like cool so we're into like a month of school and me and plankton you know like we're talking a little bit more like outside of you know like outside of class of course we have that one class together but we talked a little bit outside of class we used to hang out in the rec room sometimes like you know i found out that he lived on campus so you know that was that was it so once i found out he lived on campus and i started to like like him a little bit more you know like try like when i say like i mean like i wanted to get to know him a bit more so I know that y'all are gonna judge me for this like please don't judge me for this but yeah so i went over to plankton's apartment like i went over to his apartment as in like i you know i ended up like sleeping over there and stuff now i'm gonna tell all the details of course that led up to that to keep in mind we hung out a little bit before that even happened like I even like took him to i remember this so clearly like i remember taking him to like my old high school because 
I had just graduated from high school and back then I only had one teacher that I cared to visit back then. You know, I wanted to catch my favorite teacher up about how I was doing, you know, in college so far, how I liked it, you know. And I ended up introducing them because me and him, you know, we took the train that day. Um, because yeah, like where I live, like there, there's a train that goes throughout like, you know, the city or whatever. And my school was, you know, was in the city. So we ended up taking the train to my old school and I ended up introducing them. And you know, my teacher, you know, he was messing with him. He was, he was like, yeah, he's real cool. He seems like a nice guy blah 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 and I was like yeah you know we're just friends you know right now but you know like I'm still trying to get to know him so there was that when I went over to his place y'all this is where this is where things started to go left so everything was cool you know he had his apartment um the way these apartments are set up they were set up like dorms so they weren't official dorms these were apartments but they were set up like dorms as in you know there's different rooms in the apartment and everyone shares like the same kitchen the same uh, living room you know all that but everyone had their own room so he definitely had roommates uh, when i was there maybe i met like one of them i don't know i don't remember but it was mainly just him in there so you know he introduced me to his apartment you know he took me into the apartment it was cool and you know we went into his room and you know i put my stuff down and i'm chilling and keep in mind, this is also a school night. Forgot to mention, this is a school night. So we had class the next day. So I was like, it would just be super convenient for me to like sleep over there and stuff. I'm watching YouTube, right? So I sit down, like he puts on music, like, you know, we're, we're chilling. He puts on like Chris Brown or something. I don't, I don't, I think it was like Chris Brown. He was just playing music. Eventually I wanted to watch like YouTube. I was watching YouTube way, way back then too. So I used to watch, if y'all know who, I'm sure everyone knows who she is now, but like Lily, sign or i think that's how you pronounce her name I, correct me if i'm wrong but she went by superwoman like superwoman that was like her youtube name back then and you know obviously now she's like a huge huge like star now like youtuber now but that's when she was like still doing like youtube videos like that and this was my best friend's like favorite youtuber i remember because we both used to watch her and i used to love her videos like i really used to be messing with her videos like her videos used to be funny to me and I would just watch them just as I was chilling, you know? Like, I thought she was funny back then. And this nigga gonna say, why are you watching this? And I'm just like, like what, you, what do you mean? Like, why am I watching? I'm watching it because I feel like watching it. Like, I like her. I want to watch it. I didn't want to watch it on my phone. You had a TV in here, so I wanted to watch it on TV. Like, you know, like, what's the problem? And he was like, you really think that this is funny? Like, you really think this is funny? And I'm just like taken aback like why are you insulting what I'm watching when you didn't even have no suggestions because and that's that's one thing that pissed me off like I hate when people do that I hate when you put something on like you go out of your way to put something on like you even ask the person like hey do you want to watch something like you know is there something and they say no like you can put on whatever you put something on and then they gonna have the nerve to complain yeah like he didn't have no suggestions so I put on whatever the hell I wanted to watch because you know he was listening to music so I didn't really think to be honest he was really paying attention like that but yeah apparently he was looking dead at the screen saying like you know this is not funny like i don't know why you watch this and da, 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 da. like you know just like judging the hell out of me for watching this lady on youtube and i'm just like okay this is annoying as hell like it's it irritated me and one thing about me y'all one thing about me is that like I don't know if it's the cancer in me, but I just get very annoyed like fast. Like I get irritated very fast. So if someone irritates the hell out of me in that moment, I'm gonna have an attitude probably for the rest of the night or I'm just not gonna speak to you like that as much. I'm not gonna be as engaging and friendly as I was in the beginning of the night because you kind of just like messed up the vibe. Like you kind of messed up the whole vibe and I don't like that. Like I really did not like that, not one bit. I tried to move past it. But I don't know if we put something else on or what, I, I forgot but i started to get hungry like your girl was hungry because it was you know <laughs> it was starting to be around dinner time it was in the evening so he um decided to cook something so i'm like okay so he started to cook something i went in the kitchen we both went in the kitchen i'm sitting at the countertop he's like cooking whatever i'm waiting for the food and i think this was the first time like a guy ever tried to cook for me so i'll give him credit for that okay i will give him credit for that 
like a man when I say another man I mean like someone besides like my father like another guy actually tried to cook for me because you know usually it's the other way around so yeah he tried to cook for me and I said tried y'all notice notice I said tried attempted that is the key word here he cooks me like some chicken and I think some fries or something yeah french fries chicken was just a little too greasy you know it was it was a little too greasy for my liking and so were the fries the fries were were fine but the chicken was just greasy as hell like it was greasy as hell and i've eaten homemade chicken before plenty of times so i i knew when it was you know when it was a little too greasy but you know he gets some points for trying like he gets those little those little subtle points for trying that's fine but that food was greasy as hell. Uh, it's a no for me, dog. And we went back to the room. We started talking for a little bit, you know, just talking. Like, we weren't doing anything. Like, to be honest, like, I, um, not that, like, I wouldn't be, wouldn't have been interested in, you know, like, doing more than just talking. But after that whole comment about the YouTube thing and then the food and everything, it's just, like, I, I don't know. Like, I was just, like, my mind had completely turned off from that like if that was in my head that went out the window like after all that i really just wanted to just chill for the rest of the night go to sleep and go to school in the morning that was it so i go to sleep like i fall asleep and he lets me sleep in his bed and he lets me go to sleep and he was like i'm gonna be um i'm gonna be right back like i'm about to go see my friend or whatever because you know he had friends like in the building and stuff and i was like okay cool that's fine like do your thing i'm going to sleep so i fall asleep he comes in the room like he busts open the door like you know, like the bedroom door like he opens the front door then he comes in the bedroom and just like jumps on my bed like literally y'all he like leaps onto the bed <laughs> as i'm like you know like um you know, like i'm sleeping whatever just like can i help you like like what's what's going on like what the hell like i was sleeping I was really just real life sleeping and you just messed up my whole vibe. Like what, what's the problem? What's going on? You wanna sit there and say, just wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. And I'm just like, nigga, what? Like what, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Like, I know I probably didn't say it like that. You know, I said it in a more sleepy way cause I was, you know, I was tired. I was in the middle of literally sleeping, but that just kind of annoyed me. That annoyed me again. And I'm like, how are you annoying me? And I'm like half asleep. Like, how does that work? Like, sir. How does, how does that work? He was really um, on one. I don't know if he was like drunk or he was high. Like he did smoke, so he could have just been high. I wasn't in the mood, clearly. He could see I was not, I wasn't with the games. I wasn't with the shits, like not at all. So he kind of just like, you know, fell back. I don't know what he was trying to get me to do. If y'all catch my drift of what I'm saying, this is YouTube, so I'm not gonna be very explicit, but you know, he probably wanted to, you know, um, end our night on a good note, if, if you get what I mean. But yeah, I, I don't know. So I went back to sleep and he, you know, he went to sleep too, because we didn't do anything. Like, we did not do anything. Like, this is just a disclaimer, another disclaimer. I, this is someone I've never done anything like sexual with. Like, I, I don't even think we kissed, like we didn't do anything. Because after that first night of like really spending time with him, it just kind of showed me, you know, like what type of time that he was on and, the type of person that he could possibly be you know if we ever were to enter like something serious and i'm just like oh no like mm -mm, this, this is not for me i go to class and it was just hella awkward like it was hella awkward they um saw us walk up and they're like hey like hey guys you know like whatever and we were i was like hey you know because like by this time we knew it was a small class so the energy was like kind of off you know like you could tell that something was kind of off between me and him like I could, I could just feel it. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I could just feel that something was off. So yeah, we still went to class, you know, we did everything, whatever. And that was pretty much that. That was the end of that. I wish I could say the story ends here, but no, it doesn't. The story does not end here. We're gonna fast forward a little bit, you know, this is still in the fall semester. And I started talking to his friend. I know y'all, I know that's like very like childish or whatever, but like, to be fair, I didn't know that they were like friends like that. Now I knew um, from what he told me that they went to like high school together, but like in college, they didn't really hang out like that. I saw them together maybe like one time. That is a whole nother story. Like I'm not even gonna, ooh, I'm not even gonna get into that. 
But to keep it short and sweet, you know, I started talking to his friend. I was interested in his friend for some reason. So yeah, we ended up talking or whatever. Like his friend was, you know, entertaining me. I was entertaining him. He found out about this and obviously he got upset. Like he got mad and at the same time, I'm just like, I don't understand. Like we didn't do anything. Like I could see like if we did something, like if me and him did something and then I went immediately to go talk to his friend, but me and him never did anything. Like nothing popped off. I was not with it at all. So. I just don't understand like what the problem was. So he found out, y'all, he got so mad. I will never forget this day. We're in the rec center or the rec, I said the rec center, the student center and the rec room is inside of my school student center. So it's like down like on the first level of the student center. So we're downstairs and when you like, everything is see-through. So like you can see like the rec room, like when you look in the, the glass or whatever, you can see the rec room and a hallway next to the rec room. And then next to that was like our lounge. Like a, there was like a, um, another office and lounge like down there. He takes me to, I remember the hallway, like the little empty hallway next to the rec room. And he starts going off on me, y'all. He starts going off on me. He's like, he said basically something along the lines like, all you care about. Like, sir, like who the fuck? who are you my father y'all he was yelling at me like as if that was my like he was my ex or something like as as if he was my man like my ex man something like he like i'm like nigga i never claimed you we never claimed each other i never claimed you i don't know about you but i never claimed you so i don't know where this is like where this is coming from like i just i don't understand <laughs> i don't understand what the problem is bring it down because my head will start spinning i child don't know I wish I never like got myself involved in that situation. I should have just kept it moving. It was just really awkward. So from that point on, so boom, okay. The next year, this was 2014. 2014, this was after like my birthday party. I just turned 19 at this time. I had my birthday at like a hookah lounge downtown at the time. And we ended up going back to that apartment, uh, that apartment that Plankton lived in. Somebody was having a party. I don't, I, to this, I don't remember whose, I don't know whose apartment that was, but they were having a party. You know, it was like kind of like an after party for me because we had already turned up kind of, you know, at the hookah lounge. But, you know, I wanted to still go out because it was still my birthday. So we went to the party. Um, you know, I went with a few friends. I didn't go with everybody, but who came from the lounge, but I went with a decent amount of people. So me and my friends went and then I ran into Plankton. Plankton was like, oh uh hey jess like or hey jessica da, da, da. like you know like how are you like are you doing well like da, da, da. and i was just like you know i'm i'm doing fine thanks like by this time y'all i had been moved on like i had been moved on like i was not interested in him anymore that was over that was over like i said during the whole like sleepover thing like i had gone past it after that you know i, I kept it cool but it was still like weird like something just still seemed like kind of off and i'm just like this is so annoying. Like I have never ran into somebody like this as many times and felt like something is off. Like how is it every time like we run into each other, I feel like something's off. Like, like he was pressing kind of like hard that night telling me to like come closer to him, you know, and like get closer to him and all that stuff. And I was like, uh, no, like I'm about to go back to my friends. Cause I had another friend that actually lived in the apartment. I had a few friends back then that lived in that apartment complex. So, you know, I went back with my friends or whatever and that was that but yeah like plankton he was just doing too much i didn't see plankton actually um for almost like two to three years i didn't see plankton because like you know i had moved on like i switched majors like i got deeper into my program so you know i was spending time with like other people i got into a relationship at that time you know i also i wasn't i wasn't seeing none of that i wasn't seeing plankton so i thought plankton had like you know like left school or something or like dropped out or something or just transferred to another school whatever whatever so i didn't think he was still at that school but then 2017 comes and i remember because i was rehearsing for this fashion show this fashion show that was for one of the clubs that was on campus so yeah i was doing a rehearsal for that and then i see plankton because my ex at the time he was telling me that um plankton worked in the same office as him because my ex um, used to work on campus as well back then. 
and he was like yeah like he works in the office with me but like you know I don't really like pay attention to him whatever and I explained to him you know like what happened between me and Plankton because I'm like yeah he's a weirdo like, my ex was like yeah he is kind of like weird like you know I don't really pay him no mind basically when they're at work so yeah they worked in the same place that's just like funny that they worked in the same office like literally the, the same office at the exact same time he knew that you know me and Plankton used to you know I don't even want to say talk that me and Plankton used to know each other, whatever. So he was just like, whatever, you know, Max didn't care. And then um, he tried to like say hi to me again at that point. And it was this time it was just like a regular like hi, whatever. But again, I wasn't really trying to, you know, be in close quarters with him. And the next like few months, I got an email from my email, y'all. And I was not the only one that got this email. <laughs> I found out that Plankton was like, um a musician or an artist whatever i don't know if he was a rapper or a singer i don't remember but um the music was not memorable enough for me to remember like i would remember if he was you know he was he, he was doing something right but to me he wasn't doing nothing that was really popping so you know it was like whatever okay just another person trying to be an artist okay cool so yeah he sent this message from his like email like his personal email i don't even think this was his school email it was like a personal email basically apologizing for everything that he had done like he was like oh i'm sorry that you know if i did you wrong and that he didn't say it specifically what he did but he just was apologizing for you know being in the wrong and i was just like uh okay you could have just the you see me on campus sometimes so it's like you could have just pulled me aside and be like hey i'm sorry for this and this and this and we could have just kept it like that like you know just kept it whatever and then I would have moved on you could have moved on like yeah like I had been moved on but apparently it just didn't seem like he did so because it was still bothering like I didn't even care honestly if I ever got an apology from him but I just felt like that was phony as hell to put that in the email when we go to the same damn school and yeah like and we're in close quarters of each other so I'm like what the hell like that's weird some of my friends even got the same email like i had like two people that i used to work with and they said that they got the same email and i was like because my my one friend used to live in the same complex as him so y'all already know you know like she she knew that he was a weirdo too i never found you funny i never found you entertaining i never found you smart I just found you annoying. I just feel like be a man and like actually stand on your word, you know, stand on your ground. If you really want to apologize to somebody, you walk up to somebody and you apologize to them. Like, I don't understand what the problem was in that. There was nothing preventing him from doing that. So I don't know what it was, but the last thing y'all, and then the story is, is over, like I'm done. He comes over to, um, he tries to come over to me during graduation because me and him actually ended up graduating the same year Like he ended up graduating from the the same school same year same class and He apparently tried to give me like a letter like my ex told me this like face-to-face -face, like because you know My ex was was there at my graduation and he was like, yeah He tried to give you a letter and he tried to get me to you know Give it to you once he saw that I you know, like once he saw that I was about to walk up to him So he said that um, he basically took the letter like took he y'all <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can grab something <laughs> This is so crazy to me. Okay so yeah, he takes this, like this, imagine this is like a piece of paper or a letter. He takes the letter, my ex, and literally like, like just throws it in the wind. <laughs> like just throws it, throws it in the wind. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I'm not going to hold you. But yeah, he just basically like throws the paper in the wind. And yeah, that was the end of that. Like, so I never never read that letter it's not like we had like anything that happened between us other than the events that i told y'all about in the story like i i just don't understand like in the beginning of the story during freshman year we had nothing else after that we had no history we never did anything we never kissed like we never dated like not nothing nothing came out of anything so i'm like why why are you so pressed like why are you so pressed like what's the problem like i just i don't understand like do we have a problem? Like, I haven't found out, like, he was dating somebody else and everything, so I'm like, why are you still, like, pressed over me? Like, I don't care about you. 
Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you tuned in, like, you know, let me know, like this video, share, comment, like, you know, if you must. I love you guys so much. I really do. And once again, I'm going to try to keep the content going. I have been honestly just overwhelmed with like work, modeling stuff, you know, not overwhelmed in like a bad way, but just I've been very preoccupied. So I was like, you know what, I, anytime I have to film a video, I'm just going to do it. Like, I'm not even going to think too much into it. I'm just going to do it. So, you know. I really wanted to get this video out, get this story out, and yeah, I love you guys so much once again. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed, and if you are subscribed and you're just coming back to my channel, thank you again for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!